Our spotlight story tonight is about the renovated building in Efreda that is now home to several Grant County offices. The project ended up costing more than the county first expected, but the upgrades mean long-term savings. Reporter Jeff Chu has the details. Grant County will save $48,000 a year in energy efficiency and other costs with the energy upgrade and remodeling of a new downtown Afreda office space. The county's building planning and fire marshal staffs recently moved into the accessible 7,000 square foot two-story building at 264 West Division Avenue. The county purchased the former law office's location in 2012 as a new location for the departments. The building replaces the former location the county rented on 1st Avenue Northwest. Jason Schmidt, account executive for McKinstry, the consultant firm that redesigned and remodeled the building for the county, says higher energy costs of building design and improvements up front actually pay in the long term with energy and maintenance savings. It's, it's working to help them develop uh, investments into their facilities so that they are building an infrastructure for the life of their buildings that are going to help reduce costs immediately and over the long term. And with that upfront emphasis on design, you see a longer term positive effect on, on the uh, county's expenditures, on the comfort of the occupants, on um, the resources of, say, the county and how often they need to maintain and repair uh, the pieces of equipment. Schmidt says McKinstry's mission is to efficiently develop, engineer, build, and operate the overall environment of buildings. The company has an office in Quincy with a staff of more than 75. The county spent about $750,000 to buy the building and about $1.2 million to have McKinstry renovated. Schmidt explained the long-term savings. So say you get 20 years out of the building equipment, then you're looking at nearly a million dollars in savings over the life of the equipment. Work includes asbestos removal and the installation of a heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system with cost-saving thermostats for individual spaces. The building also features light fixtures that have motion sensors to automatically switch on and off. There's even a drinking fountain that encourages reusable bottles over plastic. Tom Gaines, Grant County Facilities and Maintenance Director, says the county will save money by using space it owns and does not have to lease. We had two different offices that were in leased spaces. If we could bring those entities into own spaces, then obviously we're saving quite a bit of money each year. So we started a series of moves. We moved the WSU extension out to Moses Lake, made room uh, in the courthouse and moved the public defenders in. That saved us from the lease there. And then we had this building and we needed to do a remodel. Gaines says the project has also raised the work comfort level for county employees. Everybody seems to be very comfortable. They, they have more space, they have, they have room to grow. County Associate Planner Rick Reddig explained how the new workspace has improved. We have four cubicles in the same room. And now we have private offices again. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We'll be right back after this.